He might love um, playing video games. He might love watching football. But does he love the sports enough? Does he love playing football? Most parents who could not really play professional football based on the circumstances want to leave it with the kids. They think, I've got these genes. My child must play. Please make sure your child loves the game first. If you have a talented son and you think, oh my God, my child is wasting in a local team, you want to get him scouted into an academy, you don't know the steps to take, this video is for you. Just keep watching. Hello guys, my name is Lua. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm a family lifestyle and health vlogger. And if you already know about me and you've checked me out, thanks for stopping by again. So, this video is for any parent watching. This has been one of my most requested videos about our son's journey. I've really never spoken about his football journey in depth because I've been overwhelmed with other things, vlogging, okay? And I'll give you five main pointers based on our story with Tristan, our son who is in Manchester City Academy. He's been there since he was seven and he is 13. Pointers of how to get your child to the right audience to get scouted and possibly get into academy. The first thing I'm going to say, which is let your child love the sport. Make sure that your child genuinely loves the game. And you might think, oh yes, he loves football. He might love um, playing video games. He might love watching football, but does he love the sport enough? Does he love playing football? That's the first thing, love for the game. The reason why I make this point is a lot of parents, especially men, dads who was who were brilliant at the game when they're younger and unfortunately like we all know football was not encouraged back then like it is now so most parents who could not really play professional football based on the circumstances want to leave it with the kids they think i've got these genes my child must play please make sure your child loves the game first that's my first point number two and, and this is in slightly in order of importance second is sacrifices like parents um <laughs> i cannot if this is that would be a different day uh, to tell you about the sacrifices that we've made and most other parents make even those who are not in an academy setting you need to be ready for the sacrifices like parents if you have very demanding jobs you don't have the time you have other very young kids you might not like the cold you might have health issues it's not really going to be an easy journey. That's just because, you know, you, notwithstanding all of what I've said, the kids have to train. And once they're in an academy setting, it's not like just when you want ad hoc or, you know, Sunday league football. It's in a much more structured manner and they expect parents to deliver and to be available to take the kids wherever. So that's another point that you need to think about. Don't think only about the, the end result in the in, in 10 years think about the now just does, does my circumstance do, does my you know my setting does it allow me to embark on this journey with my child third point is enroll your child in a local sunday league football club i cannot tell you how many parents have met me and said oh my god Lua, how did you get your son into manchester city i'm not going to bore you guys with his story today because i want him to tell the story himself and hopefully um, after this, when I get more questions and when I get into what you guys want to see and answer a lot of these questions that have been asked. But the thing about Sunday League and being in a local team, grassroots football, is it is the best audience to get your child. If your child is as talented as you see and loves the game and you can make the sacrifices, now the next thing is you want him to be found by the people who matter people who take him to the next level right so sunday league sunday football you have to the child has to show determination be on time work hard be tenacious and most of this um sunday league football um, local teams they have um league games every sunday and where else do scouts go to they go to the sunday league, league games our son was scouted from there if you talk to 90% of the kids who are in academic settings are in a local football team. How do you find out? As you, they start as young as even five. They have different age groups. They go from under six, under seven, up to wherever, you know. So 
it's easy to search. So you just Google, you, you know, where you live, local teams around. You might have to pay maybe fifteen pounds a month to keep up with the with the with the kids and maybe the you know just keeping the club going. It's worth it. It gives them discipline and it gives you a platform to get seen. That's the third point. The fourth point is. Um, notwithstanding how talented your child is or is not and uh, because uh, every parent you meet they say oh my child is good because in our eyes they can't do wrong even when he's right now when he's got the best coaches he's been there for a, a, a few years and I think he's a decent player as I always say I st we still think he can be better so the reason we're making this point is for you, for your child who is not yet in that situation and you think you want to do, they want to propel him, you want to do the best, one thing you can do is get him one-to-one -one training. All the local clubs you can think of, they, if you speak to the coaches, they'll know the right people to approach. You can, they'll just, just ask your local um, football team and say, my child, I want to give him extra one-to-one -one coaching. They might do maybe an hour a week. You might have to pay something. But, you know, it's worth it. Why? For two reasons. One, to get him to the better version of himself. And two, these coaches have inside information and they can always get your child scouted. They think, this child, I've been training this child, he's brilliant. He doesn't even need this extra training. You might talk to a scout. So if your child can have one-to-one -one coaching, maybe once a week, you don't have to overdo it so they don't fall out of love with the game and feel it's a chore. You know, it's getting that sweet spot. Do it do it it's always worth it now some kids don't need it some do fifth point is most of the settings the academy settings that you you want to get in it doesn't only have to be a Premier League club it could be you know championship it could be third division second division they have structured academies those structured academies actually have sessions where you can pay and go in so I'll talk about our situation in question Tristan when he just started playing at the beginning when he was about was he five we used to take him to city because they had in um, at the time you could pay I think it was two pounds a session at the time on a Saturday for two hours and we're coaching them in the academy we'll obviously see your child if he's good enough and he'll be spotted really fast it doesn't have to be United City Liverpool Everton it doesn't have to be the top game and um, clubs the other clubs, second division, that produce brilliant players, Blackpool, Bolton, there's a lot of other you know local academies, but they're in a setting and they all play against each other. And if you think about the numbers, number of kids who are that age, who have the talent, only a few will go through. So bear that in mind. It's good to be ambitious, but it's good to be realistic and manage expectations as well. And another last thing I just want to say that there's always that wraparound of luck. I don't want to capitalize on luck because I believe that luck goes with hard work and I'm not, I would never stand here and say my child has been lucky because he's worked really hard and most kids in the academy setting have worth to be where they are. So this is for those parents who've been asking. These are just some things to keep you thinking. I will um, get Tristan when he's free at some point to have a conversation and he'll talk about his story and hopefully it can be a live if I've got the time to do a live show but before then I'll ask for your questions your comments and we'll just tell his story and um, so thanks for watching today and if you like give us a thumbs up if you want to find out more I know most of what I've said today has been based on questions directly asked if you if you know if you're shy to comment under send me a message most of you use my email I'll put that on the description but um subscribe because there'll be a lot of topics like this especially on his football journey tips for watching today and expect more vlogs from us have a fantastic day bye bye